We are one humanity with one common enemy. No country can fight alone. We can only fight together. The World Health Organization says all countries must unite to fight the coronavirus pandemic. But critics believe President Trump has not done enough to pursue a unified global response. This is called the global pandemic for a reason. Uh, it affects virtually every country in the world. Unfortunately, different countries are dealing with it differently. South Korea was able to stabilize the illness earlier than other countries. From the first spike in cases there, the government began implementing widespread testing, in contrast to the U.S., which has struggled to play catch-up in providing adequate tests. Political analysts say part of the problem with corralling a response among nations could be a communications issue coming from the White House. Trump's challenge and really a problem is that he is like nails on a chalkboard to many world leaders. While Trump enjoys good relations with many nations, it's no secret he's been at odds with other U.S. allies over the years, including members of the NATO alliance. In fact, former Vice President Joe Biden has campaigned for president on the idea of repairing those relations on the world stage. But some political observers say that argument in reference to the COVID-19 crisis is more political than practical. There is no question that Donald Trump's ties with foreign uh, leaders are frosty at best, but I think it's a stretch to suggest that their reaction to the pandemic was somehow affected by that. I think it's also difficult to say that things would be any different if, in fact, Joe Biden were in the White House. Just because Donald Trump may not be the best communicator with certain world leaders, it doesn't mean that lower or even particularly high level consultations, both politically, policy, and health-wise, are not occurring. They are. Still, many would like to see more coalescing within the world community. Just last week, the United Nations passed a resolution calling for intensified international cooperation to fight and defeat COVID-19.